Okay, it's time to do another install. This is the one that went from, I think it was H2 to uh, L2. Out there, with the RV on the patio. So we're gonna see if it actually, the RV has power so we can plug into the outlet reprogram this CPE that I have on top of the uh, RAV here and go ahead and mount it and let them know if they plug in a drop cord they can have Wi-Fi I really don't have no other way to do it downfall of where I have an option to put it right now is if there's another RV that comes in at L1 it may or may not get in its way but we're just going to have to deal with that if it becomes an issue if anybody else shows up in that spot we will see but right now we're just going to get this one connected. And get on to the next one. See you when I get there, which is right down the street. But I'll see you when I get there. Well, I was wondering if they ever have an RV put it next door. Well, I get here now. They actually have one and 10 foot from here will not be an issue because it will pick up with that RV and I don't know how long that was going to be there It'd be great if that's the biggest one that they ever put there It'd be nice seems like I know that RV for some reason. I don't know. It just seems like I know that one. Because not too many RVs that I've seen that actually has a window air conditioner in the back. Okay, we've got the uh, CPE laying here. We've got one outlet right here that we can probably use um, to at least program plug in and be able to program the uh, the CPE if it's got power and according to this it's got 123 124 volts so yep we can use it to uh, program their equipment for the new tower which is right across the street which is right on the end of that building so yeah, it should be able to reach. Well, 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 well. Got in a little pickle. But nothing that can't be fixed real easy. I just have to go get it. But these two here goes in one certain part. Sneeze Ferry Park and Sneeze Ferry Park. This was for 17, just in case I needed one. And this was for 17, as I thought I was gonna need one which these two I don't need but I like to have them to have the exact same password but is it go get another go get the original box or which really I would have to program this well, not really because I got one, but I would have to give them a new password and all. I guess since they're going to get a new lot number, I guess they're going to... A new password wouldn't matter. Because I can always plug it in and change the password when I get to the RV anyway. Just plug in their old equipment, give it internet 
copy it and paste it into the new one. They'll never know the difference. So I guess I'll do that since I don't need this one. I'll just use it here. Can't believe I forgot that in the RV. I think I took it out because I was going to reprogram the, the name and all that, but should have just left it in here. But that that's what happens when you just run around, run around, and getting everybody internet. There's bound to be something to get missed. Oh well. So I guess we're going to get this box and actually install it. But when it comes online, it's going to say Pine 17. But I can uh, change that. No problem. So let's get this mounted and get the pole mounted. I want to sit in the shade, but there is no... Uh, there's no shade on that side and lo and behold there's no shade really on this side to be able to sit in but even if I put it over here I'll have to have a drop cord I don't have one so I had no choice but to uh, sit in the sun and get this done okay let's get it reprogrammed well one way to stay cool at least be able to see the laptop let's uh, keep it underneath the RV nice concrete slab really helps so I'm gonna sit here and uh, program I can almost sit up under here as high as this thing is so uh, let's get this thing programmed all right we got the uh, CPE laying here on the ground not pointing to it but it's in that direction we got the box hanging here and uh, we reprogrammed it and got it uh, Got a little bit of speed out of it. That's the upload. So let's do a uh, download, which is 11. And I don't remember what they have on their account. They might only have 10. It might be actually getting all the speed. Let me check and see. They are paying for 10 megabits per second down. And they're getting that with the... Uh, CPE just laying on the ground. I love it. So they'll have no issue. And like one up. Doubt if it's going to get that. It may. It might get six out of it. Point six. Point seven. Uh oh. Point eight. Point nine. Holy crap. Almost. All right, let me mount this thing and give them the information. Now, of course, the wire that I had on it is not long enough because the box was a lot higher off of the ground. So we're going to have to make a new cord. And I just took the last 15, 18 feet of cord off of my reel there. Glad I got another box of wire. So I won't run out. I'm going to see what other color they have. Because I'll try to use black for nothing but underground. But I found one with a real good price. So I had to buy it even though it's black and it's not not direct burial option but when you see a good deal you got to snatch it you can't be too picky so it is yeah, it is black it's cat 6 oxygen free copper UTP outdoor just not direct burial and I think it's 100 meters uh, 23 gauge but I'll look online and get me another roll see who has a good deal on some wire alright got the uh, cord made now we're going to put on the pole and then we'll plug it in 
and we may come back later or come back tomorrow and put some power to it I got a drop cord that I can use temporary just to put it over here just to get it lined and uh, but if it was laying underneath without pointing directly this is not gonna be no issue with it up here so let's uh, get this on the pole and get this CPE mounted to the 6x6 and all locked up and then we can get out of here okay we got the pole mounted point that direction should be able to pick up let's see it's gonna be close it's gonna be real close yeah it'll pick up she's higher than that RV right there not much got it tilted back just a little bit so it point up so it'll it's higher than the RV not much but enough to reach over there so let's finish this and so they'll have internet when they come back and plug it in Woo. yeah all right let's get this uh finished up here let's see here let's see where we need it yes that's wire down here we'll bring that down there just like that oopsie doopsie it fall down that okay we got this one uh, all in there got the PoE feeding the air cube and then the air cube feeding the CPE I'll probably come by here tomorrow we'll put some power to it be sure the alignment's good before they actually get here. Let's go get some tape and uh, tape this up down here. Okay, let's get this basically wrapped up. All right. Okay, let's put some tape on here and get this all finalized.